sessions and welcome to my new let's play the sims castaway stories now i love this game so much and i love pet stories and um life stories i really love this i really wish they did this for the sims 3 you know it would have been nice if they did the same thing with them you know something like this but you know oh well um so I'm excited to bring this um, little LP for you guys. Of course, it's going to be just a short LP. It's going to be me playing along with the game and, you know, and stuff. So once I'm done doing this, then I'm going to move on to the next one. I know I'm going backwards. I'm going, <laughs> I'm starting off with Castaway um, because I love this one so much. This is my favorite one. So that's why I'm starting off with this one and then I'm going to move on to Pads and then Life Story. But yeah, um, so I'm excited to show you guys this game. Um, a lot of you love playing this game. Some of you don't even know anything about it or haven't never played this game. So I'm looking forward to doing this. Um, I was inspired to do this castaway story because I saw this challenge for the Sims 3, the castaway challenge, and I was going to do it. But then, you know, looking at it and I was playing it offline myself. And I don't know, it was just, it was like too repetitive. And um, and I felt like, oh, this is going to be boring, so I'm not going to make this into an LP. So I decided that, oh, why don't I just play my, you know, my Sims 2 Castaway. So, and that's why we're here. Alright, so I'm going to read you guys this little description right down here, and then we're going to get started. Um, very little is known about this remote tropical paradise. It's location isn't recorded on any chart or map. Wild animals prowl its dense jungles from the ominous volcanic crea uh, crater to the wide sandy beaches. Lost and alone, can you survive long enough to find other castaways and meet island natives? Mm, I don't know, I guess we'll have to see. Alright, so let's get started. Okay. Um, we're gonna play with the girl. Yeah, we're gonna play with the girl. Normally, I like to play with the guy, but uh, for this one, we'll play with the girl. And um, all right, so let's read this. Yesterday, you were trapped in the daily grind back in SimCity. Today, you're on your way to the hottest singles resort in the world to do a story of Going Places magazine. It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and not just for your writing career. Somewhere out there, you're determined to find your own special someone. Alright, so let's get started. Okay guys, so once it's finished loading, then uh, we'll... Oh, okay. I guess I'm kind of used to the Sims taking a few minutes <laughs> for it to load. This one is just pretty quick. Oh, I really like this. I guess we'll, we'll, we'll keep low, we'll let the whole thing low since it's going pretty fast. Yeah. Alright, so we are the Knight family. Mm, very nice. Alright. I guess we'll hang in here. Oh, there we go. I guess we're gonna start. ship just crashed and now she's stranded mm -hmm. see that's one of the reasons why I don't go on cruises no 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 now she's gonna have to figure out a way to survive two days later wow
Huh? What happened? I'll tell you what happened. Your cruise ship. It sunk. It crashed and sunk. Almost Paradise, Chapter 1. Okay. So, as we see here, that looks like my cruise ship. I... I remember boarding, it was empty, I was tired, I fell asleep and woke up here. Others obviously boarded the ship at some point. Did they make it? Could they be here? I can't think about that now. Where am I? This place doesn't look like any of the pictures in my brochure for club meet, your mates. Oh. What's that over there? Okay, so before we even continue, um, I just wanted to let you guys know that um, each part will consist of each chapter. So every time we succeed in, um, you know, in one chapter, then that's one episode. And then the next chapter will be the next episode like that. You know, I'm going to make these short. I don't want to make them long and I don't want to keep going. And plus, I don't want the game to end so quickly, you know. So, uh, yeah. So that's what I'm planning on doing. And, um... Alright, so this is telling me to pick up the axe. Alright, so we'll have her pick it up. There you go. Now. Okay. A hatchet. I hope this will come in handy. I wonder what else has washed up. Hmm. Well, oh. I didn't do that. It did it on its own. Okay. Oh. I'll walk the beach and look for anything else that might be useful. I'll call this place Felicity Island. Surely nothing bad can happen in a place with a name like Felicity. Felicity. Ah, oh, no. Felicity. <laughs> My time just kept going. All right, so she needs to dig this out. Mm, the water looks very nice. I like the way it looks. Look at the fishies. Oh, look. All right. Let's just look around in our area. Let's see what's going on here. Oh wow. She's all oh, the shit. Where's everyone? It's a streamer trunk from the ship. The streamer trunk you have just picked up is now in your rewards inventory. Press the rewards button at any time during the game to examine. Add or remove items from your inventory. Alright, so there we go, we see it. Okay. I really don't need you to show me how to do this. Oh well, I guess I'll keep it, I guess. Right, so let's just take it out and um, where shall we put it? Uh, I guess we should. I guess we'll put it here for now, right? Okay. You can click the story mode icon at any time to read your journal entries. Oh, okay. Our journals. I forgot all about our journals. I'm so lonely. I know. I'll write in my diary when it gets too bad. It beats talking to myself all day and night. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, so I guess this will write in everything, I guess, that she does and stuff. So, um, almost paradise. I found a hatchet on the beach. I have a feeling I'll need anything and everything that I can get my hands on to survive on this island. I picked it up, of course. I get shipwrecked on my, on my first exotic getaway. I knew I should have flown. It's okay. At least I have my health and a hatchet. Yeah, right. What more could I possibly need? Note to self. Sarcasm helps. Waste not, want not. I comb the beach for anything else that may be useful. Like a travel agent, instead I found a streamer trunk from my ship buried on the beach. That means there could be more things from the ship scattered around the island. Too bad this trunk isn't big enough to ride out of here. My luck, it's probably empty or worse, filled with poisonous snakes. I put the trunk in my camp. It's sort of the centerpiece of my furnishings right now. Actually, it's my only furnishing. The streamer trunk will have to wear many hats for the time. Bean. For, oh my god, I just got stuck there. It's the only place I can store my stuff. What stuff? I need some stuff. Yeah. You think? Alright. So her bladder's pretty much going down. Maybe we can find some bush or something. This trunk will be a great place to keep my supplies. I need supplies. Yes, you do. 
Speaking of supplies, I'm parched. I need something to drink. A good stiff juice would be great right about now. All right, so we need to, let's see what this says. Quench thirst. Hmm. I know sea water is off limits, but I seem to remember hearing somewhere what the two basic items necessary to sustain life are coconut milk and um, something else. Running water? Television? I can't remember. All right, so quench the thirst. Ugh, to quench the thirst, click on the coconut tree and select drink coconut juice. Alright, so there's plenty of electric, but I guess we gotta find the coconut tree. Alright, I guess this is this one since it's being highlighted. There we go. Look at these little branches. Maybe we can chop these up. Maybe it'll help for something. It's been a long time since I've played this game. It's Last time I played this game, it was when it first came out, to be honest with you. Yeah. There's a green arrow. Show oh, we need to go examine that. Okay. So, have you got your coconut, girl? There you go. Drink up. Okay. I guess we did that. So, let's go over here and examine this. That hit the spot. I should get some more for later. Yeah, we will. We'll get some more. Let's just go examine that. Let's, yeah, we'll click on the gather coconuts. Let's see what's over here. I don't remember. Oh, okay. I'm remembering. We need to find a machete to cut these little bamboo sticks down. All right. Let's just gather some coconuts. All right, she needs to use the bathroom. That coconut made her want to go. Is there like a little bush somewhere around here? Oh, here it is. And after that, you can use that. Her social life is going down, so we need her to... Phew, that's hard work for a snack. At least I have some supplies in the streamer trunk now. Hmm, now what should I do? There we go. A fire will be essential to my survival. Here, I need to chop some wood. Okay. We'll chop some of these things. I think I saw one over here. Yep. There we go. I think that's it. I don't think we have... Oh, here's another um, bush that she can use to use the bathroom. No, that's nothing that we can use. Nope, we can't go over there. Um, and I guess that's it. Yeah, let's keep going this way. No, yeah, that's it. Right. Can we clean this up? Yeah, I think we need something to clean it up this one. Alright. Alright, so let's just forward this. Okay, you can check how many resources your sim has by looking at the resource counter indicated by the red arrow. Okay, so we have 42 resources and 20 pieces of food, I guess. I don't know. Time to put this wood to good use. Now that you have collected some resources, you can start using them to make different objects. Open barter mode to see what you can make. The more resources you collect, the more objects you can create. Okay, so let her finish this before we go into barter mode. Okay, right now I want us to light a fire. So, we need to buy an Ancestral Cooking Space Beginners model. Okay, if we can't get this, then we need to continue um, getting some resources. Alright, so let, I'm going to fast forward this part. This just doesn't make sense. And then once she's done, then we'll look at the... Um, Alright, I'm going to have her write in her journal. In the mean, yeah, let's go write in your journal. So, um, alright. So she's writing in her journal. I just want her oh, thing to go up a little bit. Alright, let's go to barter mode. So cooking right, right here. This is where we need to go. Oh, five... Okay, so that should be good. And some stew cooking space. So this is what we need 
full hour fire. Do we have enough? Yes, we definitely got enough to go to sleep. But I'll wait until they tell me that I need it. You know, I don't want to just... Because I remember one time I did things before they told me to. And then, I don't know, it got messed up. This thing got messed up and it wasn't doing anything. And then it kind of like froze on me. So I decided that I'll just wait until they tell me what to get and when to get it. And then, you know, there we go. Okay, so we got our thing. Now we need to light the fire. That's what it says, light a fire. All right, so we'll light a fire. And then here it says get a lean to. What does it get a lean to? To get this object, look in the bottom mode. Uh huh. Make sure. Oh, okay. She wants a bed. She wants a ring water tower. She wants to get a bookcase. You want a lot of things. But we'll save that one because I know eventually she's going to need one of those. Girl, get off that diary. I think you've written enough. All right. There we go. Go light up that fire. And guys, excuse me if you hear any background noise or anything like that. You know, my kid just came home from school, so it tends to be a little loud. I did it. I have rediscovered fire. Okay. Awesome. Um, why don't you just warm up a little bit? Oh, God. Oh, great. I need to make some type of shelter. Okay. Well, um, see? Told you. They want her to build a shelter. Alright, so let's go back here and buy a shelter. Alright. Kind of like the red one. So. Alright. Um. Why don't we just move this stuff around, I guess? Put it over here, right under the tree. Perfect. I guess we'll move you up a little bit. I'm assuming. And then the trunk. We'll put it like right there. Yeah. We'll put it here so you can walk that way. Alright. So we're good. There we go. Alright. Perfect. Alright. We did that. The Savage Breeze Catcher Sleeper and Cedar. It's quaint. Get outdoorsy. Shelter with a view. It'll work for now. I should get some sleep. It's not like I'm going to miss out on any on a raging party. I hope this is all just a big elaborate practical joke. Maybe I'm being skunked. Yeah, maybe you are. Alright, so they want us to get some rest. Alright, but before we do that, I'll have her have a snack, have some coconut, and um, get her hygiene up. Can she... Can she... Um, Right here, there we go. Swim in here for a bit. I guess get your hygiene up. And then maybe we'll get some more coconuts, I guess. And then we'll go to bed. Yeah. And then we'll go to sleep. And you're being such a pig. You're leaving your little coconuts all over the place. Alright. <clears throat> this is so pretty... You can see all the little fishies. The water's so clear and crystal. I like it, it's so pretty. And the way it moves. See, it just flows and waves side to side. It feels like you're in it. Girl, you ain't taking no bath. Okay, you wanna be stinking? Whee! Fine, stink. Whatever's. Whatever's. Don't swim, don't go for a swim. Whatever's. Alright, see? I told you that, look, now it's stinking up the place. Wait, close the chest, and then go to sleep. There we go, perfect. Alright. Okay, great, perfect. Oh! We have a little, another little video coming up. What's it doing? What's it gonna show me? Uh oh. Okay, what's happening now? Oh, somebody's watching you. <gasps> Chimpanzees? Oh no, our food! 
Oh, damn it, I can't see crap. Oh, great. This sucks. Oh, he's cute. Uh oh. They ate our food. Yep. I knew it. They ate our freaking coconuts. And left a mess. Now oh, the place is really gonna stink. Girl. I will survive. Chapter 2. Great. Alright then. So what I'm going to do is I am going to to end this part here but let's see what it says what happened here last night it looks like someone or something threw a party and didn't even invite me no girl they didn't invite you they ate your coconuts all right so <laughs> i'm going to end this part here um it was fun playing this game as i play along i'm remembering certain things so you know i'm really excited to really get further more into this game so i really hope you guys like it um and if you do don't forget to sub like and comment follow me on facebook twitter and tumblr and once again thanks for stopping by and happy simming